folks, welcome back to the reading room. We all know that case, that young dog that presents lame to our practice, and we try to figure out what's going on. So this is an example of that. This is a one-year-old mixed breed dog presenting for lameness of the right thoracic limb. One of the really important things is going to be to use our physical exam to figure out where to take radiographs because the shotgun approach to radiographing everything isn't really going to help us a lot. It's going to make it really challenging to identify subtle lesions like the one we're about to talk about and we're going to need to have nicely collimated radiographs. So in this instance we localized the lameness to the shoulder and so we took radiographs of the right shoulder and let's take a look. The lateral projection is going to be our most valuable in this instance and what we're looking at here is the caudal aspect of the humeral head and this is zooming in right on where this lesion is. One of the nice things is that we've actually positioned this over top of the trachea to kind of highlight this lesion. So this is an OCD lesion. This is a concave defect in the caudal aspect of the humeral head which is what's causing the lameness in this patient. There's a very tiny, faint little fragment associated with it here uh, that's kind of separated by lucency. And this is going to be something that a surgeon can go in and debride, make this dog feel a lot better. Really important thing is going to be to image the other limb to make sure that it's not contralateral, or not on the contralateral limb, excuse me. And that's because even if the patient's not lame, this could still be a bilateral problem. So we want to make sure we take the radiographs of the other limb, just to be sure. Other things to think about in a young dog that we would be looking for might be panosseitis, which we don't see any evidence of in this guy. And of course, things like fractures or infections, physitis or um, other types of septic arthritis or things like that that might be going on in a young dog. So this is OCD in this guy, and this patient did quite well. And I hope this has been helpful in evaluating shoulder radiographs in your practice.